Stylish Mamas. So, in my fantasy world, not really, but in the world that I don't get to do as much often as I used to do, is my styling. I love wardrobe styling, and I got the opportunity to work with Fashion San Diego designer Tarita Torres and help her style her lookbook for her Las Vegas show. It's a Las Vegas Fashion Week, and it was really exciting. She asked me to do it, and her and I met because we are trying to collaborate on a maternity line. Oh my gosh, so fun. So we met and we went over some looks and some sketches, decided to see like what exactly we maybe want to do for it because there's so many people out there who don't have the resource to buy um, maternity wear that fits them well or looks really good on them. And her and I are very aware of that because we both are moms. And so um, working with her was just really cool. And then her asking me to do the styling for the shoot was even more exciting. And it ended up turning out great. I can't wait to see the full final product. But here's a video to see what exactly went on behind the scenes. Check it out.
So being a stylist, you have to kind of um, be on point. You have to think quick. Um, it's really fast paced and it's like backstage at a fashion show and it's quick and you have to be looking around to try to find things that work and it has to be consistent with every outfit that is being presented on the models. So you have to also pull things that are going to be cohesive to the collection that you're working on. So she ended up giving me the idea of her style, what she wanted for her overall theme the day before the shoot, literally in the morning. So I was running rampant and hitting up people that I know, jewelry artists, store owners, um, designers in the industry and asking them, hey, like this is what I'm looking for. <laughs> looking for spring we were looking for flowers we were looking for metals we were looking for just this bright color to throw in to her collection and it it was challenging because I only had a day uh, to pull this and I did have a store owner get back to me bad Madge in South Park and she did send me some stuff that were really great, but by that time it was getting five, six at night and we had plans that night and there was no way I could get there that night or early morning because the shoot was in the morning. And so I had to say sorry and thanks, but it's not gonna work out. Also, um, I had a designer get a hold of me about her flower bags, which are amazing. Designer Liz Russell. I reached out to another friend, Art Rivas, and she does jewelry, amazing jewelry. And she just didn't have anything that was going to work with this collection. It was really great. I, you know, knowing that you could reach out to different designers and you have a network of people that you know if you're in a bind or you need something, that you could get a hold of them and they will lend you stuff for things like this it is just very cool and, um, it's really just about building your reputation with these people around town. And <clears throat> I am blessed to have built that with many people around town. And so I appreciate all the people who, who I reached out to who couldn't actually pull through because it was either me, time schedule, or it was because, you know, they didn't have anything at the moment. Mostly it was about time frame. And the most important thing as a stylist is to have time frame so you're able to pull. Sometimes it takes a week to pull. Sometimes it takes more than a week to pull. Um, you have to find the right people, the right look, the right aesthetic that's going to go with the collection. I think that's the most important thing that you got to think about. So um, lo and behold, I go to my parents' house that night and we had plans with them. And uh, my mom and I just started rummaging through all her stuff. And she, she makes brooch flower bouquets. She made that for my wedding. Um, and she makes jewelry. She makes necklaces that are super cool. And she had a lot of vintage stuff. So I just sent photos to Tarita, the designer. And I said, what about this? What about this? And we were just going back and forth. And, you know, knew the new I am, you're able to like things or love things or thumbs up things. And so everything she loved, I pulled. Everything she loved, I pulled. And it ended up being such a great collaboration of my mom's stuff that she had and the stuff that she's made to the collection. So it was very cool. It was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, so I just uh, want to encourage anyone who is a stylist and, you know, having that time is um, pretty valuable and um, it's really great doing what you love. Being a mother and being able to still do this kind of stuff is huge because it um, really just, it brings it out of me. I love it. It's my passion. It's something that is just, when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. And I don't care what it is that it is. It's a sport or if it's, a, you know, you're a journalist or you're a writer or whatever it is, you can pull it up and make it happen. I think it's so cool that um, everyone has their own niche and passion and things that they are so talented and creative with. So I encourage you, mama, because you also have talent and you also have this creative 
gene and maybe you found and maybe you haven't that um, just tap into it and then little by little do it because having an outlet being a mom is kind of important because you want to feel like you are involved in something other than just being a mom because it does take over your whole life. So anyway, I just had to share that with you because it was such a cool shoot and that is what I do. I'm a stylist. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Do you, whatever that means. If that goes Go out for coffee one day because maybe that's right now the best talent you have is just to go to coffee with girlfriends and give them advice, then go and do it. Because that is the most important thing you could do for yourself is do you. All right? Hope you all have a great day. Bye. Oh yeah, go below and follow me on Instagram and follow me on YouTube. And honestly, follow Simple Annalisa. She is the one who created the video for the photo shoot and she did such a good job and she's very cool and very creative. So you follow her too. All that link will be below. So check that out. Check her out. Subscribe to her as well because she's an awesome individual who does amazing videos. Thanks.